Well, tonight the state attorney's office saying that the shooting death of a man by Jacksonville officer is justified. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Heather Crawford. Officers shot Justin Reed when he confronted police uh, who were parked in an unmarked vehicle right outside of his home. On your side's Troy Kless has a closer look now at what police say they did before firing their weapon. People living in the Panama Park neighborhood, Heather, say that they feel that the officer's actions were not justified. But family has previously told us that the officers involved did not identify themselves before they shot Reed. But this report that we obtained says that they did. Surveillance video from a nearby church shows the scene. Minutes after an unmarked police vehicle pulls in front of Justin Reed's driveway, Reed walks out front with a rifle and taps it on the car's windshield. Mr. Reed thought that. Uh there was a suspicious vehicle according to uh, his loved ones. So he went out there to um, uh, confront that vehicle uh, and he took a rifle with him at the time. First Coast News crime and safety expert Mark Bachman says he knew one of the officers and says they felt remorseful having to use deadly force. According to the state attorney's office report, Reed came up to the car and asked, who are you looking for? And pointed his weapon at the officers. Officer G.A. Taylor rolled down his window and identified himself as police and asked Reed to put down the gun. The state attorney's office says Reed ignored those commands, then officers fired at Reed. As for body cam video of the incident, the state attorney's office says two of the three officers in the car didn't have their cams powered on. The third did, and because of that, his cam captured 30 seconds of video, but no audio, before he hit record, which he did after the shots were fired. Bachman says the incident quickly escalated. In this particular incident, I don't think they had enough time to put those body cameras on. I think they were out there in a covert fashion or trying to be covert. The report says officers were investigating gang activity in the area. Neighbors telling First Coast News off camera they don't think the officers' actions were right. Officers stated they felt they were in danger. Reed's fiance and children were living in the home at the time, but when we went to the home this afternoon, there was another man there that says he had just moved in and wasn't aware of what happened, but said that it was a tragedy. Reporting live in, outside of JSO, Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.